No wind today. It's a pretty day in Georgia. Had a viewer ask me the other day, what is that aqua thing? Wind gets in it and whips it around. I stuck it in this old bracket that I put on the side of the house to, for a hanging flower pot some years ago. I never did take the bracket down. And these little birds about wore out. Sometimes at night, his wings get to spinning so fast it vibrates the house. Bonjour, moi amis. P. Walpar here. Come on, Tolly Vu. We're going to feed the birds this morning. I uh, straightened up some papers last night and found a letter from included with an item sent to me by a viewer. a good two years ago and got filed away and never got responded to and it's an interesting little item it will be going on the table next but first I got a call into this man and gave it to me he lives in Connecticut Let's see if I can get a little more on the story before I tell you exactly what it is but Basically, I got an item coming up on what's on the table that many railroaders will find interesting. I don't feel like cleaning out that bird feeder today. I have to go drag out the hose and everything. Let's just throw the food on the ground. All the water needs washed out. I need to get out here and trim these azalea bushes. They're looking pretty darn ragged. It's a pretty day in Georgia. Here's a little quick story for you. Uh, I took a year of French in high school. Anyway, I took this class in one year of French in high school. It was a required subject. You had to have one foreign language to graduate. The French teacher was a Russian, a guy that had Moved here from Russia, one of the, I think it was straight from Russia, but uh, his wife and him were both teachers, I think. And he taught French. I don't remember a lot about French. Uh, we memorized some conversations like, Bonjour, Monsieur, comment allez-vous? Très bien, merci, et vous? And uh, learned a few words. And I still recognize some of the French words. But it ain't a language that you could retain everything unless you use it on a regular basis, and I haven't. But my story today relates somewhat to that. I was in the Navy. Uh, I don't remember if it was a USO club or somewhere we went to. And these uh, ladies were sitting on the other side. It was like a dance. I'm going to go ask this pretty lady for a dance. Well, she was French. I could hear her speaking French. I'm going to be Mr. Big Shot. I'm going to walk up and ask her to dance in French. I'll walk up and said something like, Bonjour, madame. Um, Voulez-vous danser pour moi? 
something like that. Well, she hauls off and slaps me right across the face. And all I thought I had asked her was, would you like to dance with me? But evidently, whatever I said didn't get across in that manner. She thought I said something else, and all I could figure was maybe it was the, the way I pronounced Madame or Mademoiselle or whatever I called her. And she took offense to it. But anyway, I didn't dance with that lady that day. The moral of the story is don't speak a language unless you know what you're speaking. You get a... I get a lot of communication from various viewers all over the world. And sometimes I'm a, they use Google Translate or whatever to get the message across to me. But very often the words don't quite translate right and it comes out sounding odd or different. That's probably something similar to what happened to me. But all in all, I think the Google Translate program is a pretty dang neat item. I use it on a regular basis. Some of the things I've said to some of my viewers when I answer their comments in their language, I probably sounded pretty stupid when I sent it to them. But if I send it to them in English and they translate it, it's still going to translate the same way. Got a bird calling up here. He's pretty loud. Who it is. It's making his presence known. That's all I got for my vlog this morning. We'll come up with something this afternoon.